happy Saturday. I believe it's Saturday. Is it Saturday today? Oh, wow, that sun's got bright. It's literally about 8 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Had a little bit of a line in this morning. Why do I always feel like the Statue of Liberty when I've got this on my head? Um, yeah, I had a little bit of a line in this morning. I'm literally aching from head to foot. I spent the last two days digging in my garden. It has been a job and a half. I will actually show you once I'm done here. I'm just going to do my skin skincare routine, uh, get myself dressed and sorted. Feeling good for the day, you know. And then I've got like a massive list of things to do. We're trying, I'm trying my best to like repair things around the house and, you know, just get the garden done, get things put away, get things organised. I'm just trying to do all that. It's like all my to-do lists all in one. And I'm just trying to work my way through it. Madison is definitely with me. She keeps trying to brush her teeth with my toothbrush. Like, dude, you've got your own toothbrush. What? Okay, so I've just washed my face. I'm using this. Can you see? It's so bright. I don't know if you can see it. It's a new Tatina. Keep the tabs off, Bob. The Neutrogena Clear and Radiant Face Wash. She keeps turning the taps on. I swear she's trying to flood out this wet room. Um, yeah, I bought this a long while ago. Oh, the sun is so bright, I can't see it. Um, it's really nice, actually, really refreshing on your face. I thought I'd give you a little update on the High Smile Toothpaste, this one, whilst I was here, because uh, when I bought it last time, we talked about it, didn't I? I paid £9 for this, £9. I want to say that it's really, really good, but, and yeah, it tastes sweet like watermelon. It's a bit weird that you're using a sweet toothpaste. Um, <laughs> she's pushing my teeth with her toothbrush again, with my toothbrush again. Um, yeah, I don't feel, I don't get that minty fresh, like my mouth's clean feeling and I don't like that. Um, but yeah, would I pay nine pound for it again? <laughs> no. Um. Right, what's next? So, I picked up this in Tesco's. Now, my skin oils keep running out. And I saw these in Tesco's. They were actually on offer. Come on, let me show you. It is so bright. And I've got you sat, like, on my windowsill. Um, okay, so, there. It's the Skin Saints Collagen Youthful Daily Care Center Serum. It hydrates and smooths skin. Um, and you just use a little, little bit of this. Um, so I've been using this. Oh wow, the sun's got really bright now. A little bit more up there. Um, are you having fun? Oh wow, I apologise, that sun's got really bright. It smells really nice as well. So I've been trying that out and then I got um you enjoying yourself here yeah, mom's gonna turn that off um <laughs> then i got a garnier skin active cream what is it Hyal hyaluronic aloe aloe no a hyaluronic aloe uh daily nourishing cream i got that because my skin's like really thirsty and i'm hoping that's gonna help um i really needed a new moisturizer they're playing through the door now. She's literally, they're both on the handle. Um, yeah, I really needed a new moisturiser. And I didn't have time to go like on the hunt. And these were on offer in Tesco's. And I thought, you know what, I'll give them a go. But it's a hyaluronic aloe. And I really do like that Garnier Skin Active range. So I've got that. My skincare is very, very short. I literally cleanse, tone oil serums i've lost my i've lost my eye serum i've got a, actually a skin scents eye serum that i've been using a while and i've lost it i don't know where it's gone probably one of the girls have got it um this is so nice actually oh can you even see me yeah, i've got amazon boxes behind me this is my little hidey hole because it's half is nathan's birthday in a few days Right, how's that? Do I look fresh faced and ready to go? Just gotta put some clothes on. I had a shower last night, so I'm good. Right, let's take off my uh, Statue of Liberty thing. There's not much I can do with this. I'm gonna have to wash this stuff out. I used the curl jelly, the TikTok curl jelly, and it just didn't work for me. Look at all the dust flying around. Wow, <laughs> I'm 
Is that like all the stuff coming off my head? Yeah. Okay, that would be 50 million girls trying to say, Mum, where are you? We're hungry. Come and have breakfast. All right, that's my cue to go. I think it's Harper. God, it's actually stunning out here. Hmm. Mr. Robin. We always get these robins coming in our garden. I think we actually have a nest in one of the bushes. But let me show you what happened and I'll explain why. Okay, so do you remember like all the way along behind my swings here, we have like this ivy bush. It goes all the way up. It's really, really green. Right, well, here's what happened. The ivy bush is no more. So basically, I came down here. We've got a massive pile of ivy that we need to get rid of. Um, I have to mind the ground. It got really, we had a bit of a problem last night. This all got seriously waterlogged. Okay, so this fence here, all the ivy was like hanging over and I came over to like prune it back and I didn't want to take too much off, but I had to take the whole lot down, which is kind of devastating me because I love the greenery of it, but the weight of it was actually pulling the fence. If you look here, so the people obviously that's planted the ivy which was before us had put a trellis like attached to the fence and when i was moving it back i noticed that all the fence was splitting and then now bearing in mind we have lived here in this house now for about 12 years we have never actually seen down the side of this shed because we've never been able to get to it and I was looking when I was taking it all back and I noticed that there's this split in the corner where this fence is now leaning over. So I have no choice. I think I'm actually going to have to replace these three panels because it's just got ridiculously damaged and it's, it's literally, you can't tell on the camera, but it's leaning over. Um, so yeah, I had to take all the ivy down from here. You can see where the root was there. Hi, Albies. Uh, yeah, and now I've got this big patch here because I've got another root here, but where I've had to put cut this bit back, it had to expose this root, but I don't want to cut this one down because I actually want to keep this here. But I think I really am going to have to replace these panels because, I mean, you can even see where it's all starting to split. It's, lit, it's so rotted as well. But we've now got all these wet grounds haven't we albies so yeah got a lot to do and we've got to i've got to go and get some refuge bags to bag this up because my green bin is not going to hold all of this and then over here last night we noticed i came out last night about six o'clock and let me go into the shade because i literally can't see all down here all this bit of path all this all this bit of path here mind my old lawnmower ethan's gonna fix that it's kind of his project um yeah all of this here all the way down was just completely waterlogged this was all completely waterlogged i tried to come out and turn it over and it just wasn't draining it was just getting worse so yeah because it is literally just mush um yeah it was just crazy the amount of rain we had it was completely waterlogged but our plan is anyway to uh, rotivate all of this to turn all of this grass over because if I come down here Because if I come down here I've, this but I don't know if you can tell but there's actually a massive big Ditch bit here and the kids are constantly tripping over as they come down this one They're running around so I want to level it all out and then we're missing loads of grass over here. We actually um, Came out and pierced all of this yesterday because this side doesn't get any water For when it rains it just kind of stays hard and dry so we came out yesterday, pierced it, lifted it a little bit so all the water would get in so it would soften so I can come out and turn it all over. I've got grass seeds, I just need to go and get like topsoil and things like that and try and get it all done. So I'm working, working on the garden. Um, over here, over this bit here, this was all overtook with ivy as well and we had like it all grown up the fence. And it was taken over my little apple tree that I planted. I planted this what, four years ago now and it's grown about two foot. Literally went into Tesco's one day and they had this really sad looking stick in a packet. And it said apple tree and I was like, oh my God, I'd love an apple tree in the garden. And Kev said to me, there's no way, there is no way you're going to revive that. And ladies and gentlemen, 
dare I say it, I proved you wrong, Kevin. Ta-da, my apple tree. So <laughs> the ivy was actually taking over the apple tree, so I had to take all of that out. But we cannot actually dig over here, can we? We can't dig over this part of the garden. Uh, oh, there's a bit of blue chalk down there, Chloe. So yeah, and we've got, we've got Albie's lick mat there, we've got to move there. This tree here, this is, um, oh, what kind of tree is it? I can't think of what it is. Can't think of what it's called, but we planted it for Jackson. Um, and when Jackson passed. And you've got and, a Christmas tree. Yeah, we've got a Christmas tree as well. But this is actually starting to die off on the top and I really don't know why. I know it needs to be replanted and I'm hoping that's all it is. So if anybody's got any advice on what to do about this, please, please, please put it in the comments below because I really don't want to lose this tree. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know what to do about it. I am going to plant, replant it, like I said, because it needs a bigger one. Oh, yeah. And then we we'll show you what we did yesterday. Yesterday we planted these, didn't we? We've got all of these. So we've got a cucumber plant and then we've got one, two, three, four, four tomato plants and then we've got we've got our mint as well. Um that bit of wood this this fence has kind of bored yeah. outwards yeah. and it's next door's like wood and that is yeah. falling through the bottom. Uh, uh. Uh, we did we did have these lights up. I'm actually gonna take these down. These were like curtain lights and they worked really well um for the year we had them, but yeah, they've kind of died to death now. But I'm going to take all those down and sort that out. I'm going to try and put some... I was really thinking about putting some like around the trees or maybe getting some lanterns to hang in the trees or something. Then I've got this over here. This is my lavender and it normally gets really big. However, the plant has actually rotted throughout all the um, weather that we've had. So I've got to take this out of here and dispose of obviously the planter and get something else. So I'm like looking for some really big planters for me to do it like put them all into so I've got a few bits to do around the garden but we're getting there we are getting there slowly Albies Mr Albert what are you doing dude you enjoying the sun I bunched all my curly locks on the top of my head it drives me mad um yeah so it's been a little while since I've actually filmed because we've been so busy uh, like filmed a vlog that is um but it's actually been more than the two weeks that we were supposed to have Albie. Let me explain this one to you. So Albie's now staying. <laughs> Albie now lives here. Um, we had a bit of an issue with the kids getting really upset because he was going back and my mum's partner was, you know, he's obviously, he's always working and yeah, we had a really long chat about it and Albie is now our permanent house guest. On you, Albies. He now lives here. He is, in, in fact, our dog now. Um, which I'm sure is going to be more stress. But he's so sweet and he's so gorgeous. So, yeah, we now have a new member of the family. Albie Palby is now our puppy dog. Ha! Huh? What are you doing, chicken? Albie Palby's. <laughs> Who's that, Albies? <gasps> Go get it. <laughs> he loves these tennis balls. The only thing is, when Albert gets a tennis ball, you've got to chase him to get it back off him. He doesn't like to give it back. Albie. Mr. Albert. No, he's not having it. Chloe, yeah. see if he'll let you have his tennis ball. Let me zoom out a little bit. <gasps> Did she throw it for you? <laughs> there you go, see? He won't give it back. <laughs> oh no, he's playing nice to know this morning actually. Normally he takes it and he teases them with it. <laughs> Look at my handy dandy piece of work there. New handle on. Fabulous. I do, before anybody comes for me, I do need to sand this down. I need to take this off. This door does need sanding down and repainted. But it, um, we just needed a handle to be able to close the door. When we originally bought the handle, it came with this. And I kept saying to Kevin, I don't think that's right. Um, but yeah, it was way too short, so I had to go and get another one. But now it's all fixed and I've got a handle on my door. I'm trying this curl stuff again. I've just put it in. I've actually pinned some up top to see if I can get a little bit of volume in. Just see what happens. I'm going to let it dry naturally in the sun. Mind you, seen sun. It was blazing, absolute blazing heat out here, like before I went in to do this. 
come back out, sun's gone. I mean, what? Was it just like, Amanda's come now, let's go away. So yeah. So yeah, I'm now sitting in the garden with a cardigan on because the sun has disappeared. What? It wasn't even meant to be sunny today. It was supposed to be really dull and rainy, but it's not. So it's actually quite warm as well. It's just got that little bruise, a little bit of chill. I'm sure you're not interested in the weather. Albie's disappeared inside because it got a little bit too warm for him and he wasn't happy about it and he just kept hiding. So I took him indoors and he snuggled in his bed so he's happy in there. Just want to say as well, if you can hear Kevin, I've moved by the way, because the sun came out and I've moved into the sun in hope that my hair will dry curly. Um, yeah, if you hear Kevin shouting, he is actually really shouting at the top of his lungs. Ipswich are playing on TV and yeah they've just scored and I think half of the neighborhood actually know that Kev's watching football he's really I think it's some it's an important game it is an important game um I think they go into the premiership what what happens if this game goes in okay right so you're winning 2-0 and what happens if you win this game what happens you have to win or draw this game you Okay, and that, then what happens? You go into the Premiership. Pre Premiership. Really? Oh, it's exciting then if you're 2 0 up already. <laughs> Just keep you cool. Keep you cool, but half of the half of the street, not most of the streets, the whole place knows that you're watching football. <laughs> yeah, he's not talking to me. He's so engrossed in the football now. It's just. I don't get it. Are you being Bob the Builder? I'm loving the, the boots on the wrong feet and everything. Are those Chloe's boots? I can't see. You got Chloe's boots on? Oh, what did you find? <laughs> oh, Darcy is helping Dad put the washing on the line, aren't you, Darcy? Darcy, we really do have to have a different outfit every day, dude. She would live in those. They're her favourite pyjamas and she wants them on the time. They've actually got a rip in the back of them. That it, the back. They are, are they on the back to the front? Yeah, yeah no, that's right because Albie jumped up at her and snagged um, one of the trouser legs and put a little hole and I'm sure Darcy gave it a little helping hand, didn't you? I think, I think that's because she doesn't want to throw them away. <laughs> no, she doesn't want to ever take them off. She keeps putting them back on. We take them off, she puts them back on again. Hey, Darcy, are those your favourite? Yeah. Yeah. The fact, the fact that you're in the washing every day. <laughs> Just put your clothes on, straight in the washing. Well, be careful over here, please, Madison. Be careful over here, because mum, mummy's been digging over there. Darcy. Darcy, have you been making mud pies? <laughs> you do know though, if you get your pajamas dirty, they've got to go back in the wash again. <laughs> we're really I'm gonna have to find another set I'm gonna have to go online and find another set of those pajamas because she's gonna be devastated if we have to throw them away she's got big rip in them and it's not the type of material that you could s oh oh no oh no she's no <laughs> no no oh no Madison <laughs> oh no what happened well done! Right, okay, do you want to give, give mummy your hand? Give mummy your hand. <laughs> Kev, I'm sure this is yours. Oh no, right, okay. Why's your shoe back Okay, on? oh no, 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 don't put your foot back into it. Let's let's do a hobble down the garden, ready? Give me your hand. Give me your hand. No, 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 not your foot. <laughs> give me this hand, give me this hand instead. You ready? One, two, three, up you get. Oh Lord, I bet you've got a really muddy bum now, let me see. Oh no! <laughs> that was totally the cutest, she just literally, her foot got stuck in the mud. <laughs> she just went kablunk. They've definitely been making mud pies. I mean, who didn't love making mud pies when we were kids? <sighs> There's a lot of mud. Oh dear. <laughs> Bless her, oh, that was so cute. She's saying, oh no, mummy, oh no! Right, just <laughs> just to be clear, Kevin, yeah, this is all yours. Yeah, Kevin here, let her out to come and play in the mud. We're not in the play. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Dude, no, look.
Look at her. She is covered. You're co are you <laughs> Madison? Madison, look at mummy. Look at mummy. Well, let me see your face. What happened, dude? Oh no, you've got mud on your hand. Can we get some wipes? <laughs> um, was it fun in the mud? Oh lord. Madison, Ma Madison, come over here. Mad Maddie, I <laughs> let's go get some wipes, dude. Oh my god, that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm so out of breath, I had to catch her. Just strip her down and actually wash her with some warm water whilst we stood in the garden. She was so covered in mud. It was so thick as well. <sighs> we have like a huge to-do list and I started off my day good, but then the sun came out and then I got sidetracked. And, you know, I never really... I never really come and sit in the sun in the summers because I'm always so busy but I promised myself that this year if the sun came out then I would be so I've just put my hair in a clip because it's it's quite warm oh there it is look how beautiful that sun is yes mate so yeah I promised myself that this year I would be sitting out in the sun <laughs> so that is what I'm gonna do I can successfully say that that hair jelly stuff doesn't work it doesn't work for me. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm going to put my glasses like, on because it's so bright. Yeah, and I probably will work on like... Asian It'll lurk, will it? Work. Won't work, it'll lurk. Work. Hang on. on Got one Asian hand. And Maddie. But why not you? You was born with curly hair. I know, I was born, born with curly hair. It works wonders on Maddie's hair because she's got super ringlet curls. But mine, it just went flat and I thought it was going to be like a, like a cream or something. Like it, you know, but it, it dries like a gel and it goes hard and crusty and I don't like it. But yeah, I mean, it's all right tie dog, but it didn't work for me. So I think I'm going to have to stick to straightening my hair until I can find a product that actually puts my curls back. Um, I don't know. I might talk to my hairdressers. I do need my hair cut and yeah, it's just a mess at the minute. I feel like my hair is like a proper mess at the minute. Probably because I dye it so many times. That's a lie. I don't even dye it that much. I mean, I've dyed it, what, two, three times in the last year? That, mind you, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Would you say that was a lot? I don't know. But yeah, it didn't work for me. Oh, wow, look at those head wrinkles. Amanda Jean. Look at those. I got some. Mmm. Yours are nowhere near as bad as mine, chicken. I don't even know why, but when Chloe um, puts her eyebrows out, he doesn't even get wrinkles. I know. I feel like I, I need to... I know, should I get a peg and peg my head up like that? <laughs> like Homer Simpson. It is Homer? Oh, what's it? No? Oh, what, what, what is it that Homer says? I forget. I can't remember. Grandpa, oh, that's it. Grandpa Homer. Grandpa Homer. When he pulls the skin... No. Just me? Alright. Okay. Just me then. Do you know our to-do list just went down the today it did didn't it didn't it go down the yeah because it, it's, it's been so beautiful outside yeah, we just needed a break. i know the neighbors have been so super noisy today as well ruining my sunshine sunshine fun it's all right we don't mind um right so i actually do have to go and do something though because i mean i feel like we've been out here all day no i don't feel like we've been out here all day okay. i know we've been out here all day Right, okay, Lily, I would like you to repeat the question you just asked me. Is it okay if you can help me when I'm older, help me choose my wedding dress? Can I remind you you're 10? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I will just, help I you. I will help you with your wedding dress. There's a Chloe behind me. Yeah. I will help you with your wedding dresses. Yeah. When the time <laughs> comes, we will go yes. dress shopping. Yeah. I'm going to go and get a dress that is... But let's... let's Okay, clean white. Mm -hmm. I, I'd hope it would be clean white. But let's just remind yeah, ourselves so that you are eight and you are ten. If anybody drops like a, not, um, a drink on that is a different colour. <gasps> could you imagine? Oh, oh my yes. Yes. Could, could oh you my imagine dress. if you were if it was your wedding and somebody dropped like, like black currant or something down your dress? Oh, like a oh, red, no. like a dark red drink. <gasps> oh, it would it would just it would ruin the whole oh, day, wouldn't it? Yeah. But and then it, but then you could just get changed into a second outfit. Yeah. And because you always have a second outfit at your yeah. wedding. What I'm gonna choose is like a nice bright pink dress instead of white. 
probably a, like a pink dress. A pink dress? You're gonna go for a pink dress? Okay. Pink. What about a black dress? A lot of people have been doing that lately, having black dresses. I guess. <laughs> Lily's it. like, um, no. I'm gonna Mom, go for a green no. dress. What, what green about dress? Green, a green one? Green, oh, green, green, imagine green. like a really soft pastel <gasps> apple yes. green. Yes, that I'm, would be I'm, pretty. I'm just, oh, yeah. I but just like remember, remember, when you choose your wedding dress, you've actually got to choose your bridesmaid dresses to go with it. Yeah, you have to choose your bridesmaid dresses to go with your wedding dress. So mm. you could have a white dress and then have like a mint green, like a really pastel, soft pastel mint green bridal, uh, bridesmaid dresses that go along with it. Or I had pink, we had really pastel pink bridesmaid dresses on our wedding. And I'm trying to convince your dad to get married again because next year, we've th so this year we've been married for 19 years. Next year we'll mark our 20th anniversary. What? How did that happen? How did that go that fast? It's I mean, what? I smoochy smoochy look. Yeah, I got, I got. Oh, but yeah. Why did you and dad done in the kitchen? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, like when that. dad gave me a kiss. Yes, dad gave me a kiss. <laughs> we were in the kitchen. No, and he gave me a kiss on the lips and she was just stood there mortified like mum and dad don't do that that's not allowed you can't give mummy a kiss what's that <laughs> we were in the kitchen and dad came in and gave me a kiss on the lips and chloe was mortified wait when she was little or right now no just i think it was last week she just kind of stood in the corner like Ugh. yeah, yeah <laughs> that was, no that was the day before like Ooh. <laughs> Don't do that again, Mum. You're not allowed to oh, do yeah, that. Oh, you're not allowed to do that. Time, like, oh, you and Dad, oh, everybody's talking at once. Like, um, if, if you and Dad um, kiss again, I'll do this. Oh, you're gonna put your hand in the middle, then, so he can't. He can't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. As I was saying, do you remember that one time when Maddie was a bit littler than this? Um. She seen you and Dad kissing and cuddle, and then she just oh yeah. There. Yeah. But do, do you know what she does? What? When Dad comes and gives me a cuddle or kisses. She, just, she comes and gets in between us and pushes us apart so she can give yeah. one of us a cuddle. Yeah, she always <laughs> has to be like you or dad. Like I know. She's, like, she's so she's cute. She's my mummy. Oh, she's so cute. cute, but yes. Yeah. But it's good It's good that mummy and daddy are in love, don't you think? I, like I can hear all the... <laughs> 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 oh, I do love kids. Good morning, my loves. It's actually been a couple of days since I filmed the first part of this video. It was going to be a weekend vlog, but then things kind of went higgledy-piggledy, didn't they? They all went a bit crackies. We've sat and curled um, Chloe's hair this morning. I guess what we... I got, and it's new. <gasps> you got a new purse. She's been saving up all her pennies and two pences, haven't you? Yeah, yeah I used the straighteners. We put some curls in. They're dropping out now, though, where she's been oh, running around the garden. two American coins. You got two... No, you got one American this coin and one Spanish coin, haven't you? Spanish? Yeah, it's a Spanish... I don't know what it is actually, I don't know what the amount of it is, but she's got a quarter dollar as well, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, they've been saving up like they're, like they're one pences and two pences, ten pence pieces and that. And you've got a total of how much? Do you remember? You've got a total of 80 pence. Do you remember? Yeah. We counted it this morning because they kind of raided my purse this morning for all my change. And I, I said to them, I said to them, if you no. can count it, if you can count it all, you can keep, you can keep it. it. And you counted it, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're just sitting in the garden. The sun is blazing. We're expecting like 27 degree heat, oh, no. which I'm excited about. I broke the rules. I'm going to get really hot because I'm wearing black. Oh, yes. It attracts the heat, doesn't it? Oh, Lily's brought out my umbrella. <laughs> they're getting ready because dad's going to tesco shortly and they're both tagging 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 i just got bumped. tagging along i That's just what got I mean. bumped from the table yeah it's gotten really hot hasn't yeah. it yeah because and it's I black got tesco because black I got some, i take these off while i'm under here i got here? some money oh around. i'm red i got some yeah, money yeah but because, all red. um because i'm gonna get some stuff i'm gonna get some twinkies Yes, um, because it's a special day tomorrow. day tomorrow. It's my sister's birthday, which is Harper's And Ethan's your brother's birthday. birthday. It's Ethan and Harper's birthday it's tomorrow. Wait, how did they go to the same birthday? And Harper's turning five. They were born on the same day, but... Five. 
She's turning five. She it's is. But well, they were born on the same day, just not the same year. It's too I early. Turned, it's too I early. Can I know. it be a birthday tomorrow? Mm. It can be like in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> they're growing up quick, aren't you? I'm not going to lie, but comment down below if you watched my video of my birthday. My yeah. eighth birthday. Your eighth birthday. Yeah. I mean, that's it, isn't it? You're eight. You're I'm ten. ten. Harper's five. Darcy's six. Yeah, she's turning seven. Seven in November. November. Um, Dylan is seventeen. Ethan's gonna be nineteen tomorrow. Bella's fourteen. What is going on? I mean, Maddie's two. Okay. Ken's is gonna be one in July. Uh, it's six years. What's I'll, happening? It's six years. I'll be fourteen. Oh, you can't deny you. <laughs> they can't wait to grow up. I keep telling them. I keep telling them you've got to wait. Don't be so eager to grow up. Um. You know what kids are like. Anyway, we are going to sit in the sun and yeah. ravish in oh, yeah, its heat. Like the sun. And then I've got two birthday cakes to make and I'm pretty excited what you're going to make. Presents to wrap and decorations to put together. They don't stop down. talking. Hey. Not the best angle I know. Uh, I've just come out to sit in Dylan's car because I thought I'd do a live um, on TikTok because I started doing TikTok. I'll link my um my tiktok either in the description or on the bottom of the screen um yeah i tried to go live for like the first time it was rubbish <laughs> oh no um yeah everybody's doing it and i've only been doing tiktok for like two weeks i've always had tiktok but i've never actually done anything with it but i thought you know what i'll uh i'll have a goal and yeah i've got to like just over a thousand followers at the moment and I thought I'll go live I'll do I'll do my first live and it's gonna be great I had all these expectations in my head and yeah it was rubbish people were like coming in and going out and nobody was commenting and nobody was talking so yeah but I'll try again try try and try again that's what I tell the kids and never say never and one day you will succeed if you keep trying so yeah wind's blowing my hair my hair's gone really flat it got really really hot in this car um let me have a look hang on it's now like oh hang on is that better can you see me now um yeah it's like 29 degrees in here now and it got over to th over 30 a minute ago um i was roasting so i've got like the engine running so i can put the aircon on opened all the windows tried to cool it down a bit in here <sighs> but yeah that was absolutely rubbish it was rubbish <laughs> I tried, but it was rubbish. And so many people will kept trying to come, oh, focus. Yeah, so many people tried to come onto my life, you know, when you like invite them in. And, but I didn't want to do that because I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. So yeah, well, and then everybody left and I was sat talking to myself. It's all good, it's all good. Try, try and try again, we'll do that. But yeah, I've come to sit out here just to do that for a minute because you know what it's like when you've got kids, you just can't get a five minutes of quiet. Um, I've got so many things to do, so many things to do. I've got, if you can see behind me, I've actually got a slide sitting behind me. That is one of Harper's um, birthday presents and we're hiding it out in Dylan's car. Oh, focus. We're hiding it out in Dylan's car because I had nowhere to store it so I'm going to take it in tonight. I don't know whether to set it off like in the living room or to just wrap the box just to give it that little bit of extra surprise because I feel like if I set it off, um, <laughs> sorry people are waving at me, um, what was I saying? I feel like if I set it off then she's going to probably wake up during the night and see it and be like oh my god I got a slide you know. And I just feel like, yeah, I th I maybe maybe I wrap the box. Maybe I wrap the box. Uh, I'm sitting here. I've got so many things to do. Kevin needs to go off to Tesco's with the girls. He's just getting ready, and then I'm gonna take over childcare while he runs to Tesco's. I think he's taking like Lily and Chloe with him, and maybe Maddie. Um, but the heat has hit. Like it has hit good and proper. I keep running off my to-do list. I've just put like an ice pack on the top of my phone because my phone keeps getting too hot. Um, yeah, I keep running off my to-do list in my head. I've got to make cakes, wrap presents, m put up decorations. I've made some decorations, like laminated them. Um, they're not birthday decorations. We're actually, I think I mentioned earlier, I'm going to have a pizza party. Did I, did I mention it earlier? 
I can't remember because I was actually talking to my sister on the phone so I might have talked to my sister but not you guys so basically tomorrow if I haven't already told you we're having a pizza party during the day um, I've done like party bags and things like that for the kids because um, Harper absolutely adores adores pizza she would eat pizza all day long every day if she had half the chance um, so I'm doing a pizza party got party bags we're gonna watch um, well I'm saying we're gonna watch I want to have a look at it first before the kids watch it because I'm scared that it might be too scary for them um, I rented um, what's it called Ghostbusters frozen something ice over can't remember what's called the new Ghostbusters I rented it off of Prime and I really want to see it and so do the kids but I feel like maybe me and Kev should like flick through it first to make sure it's not too scary for the kids because obviously they're younger so I've got that but I, I, yeah I'm definitely gonna flick through it and see if we're gonna be watching that or something different um, the reason we're not going out for Harper's birthday I wanted to have like a day out um, sorry, people are waving. <laughs> I wanted to have a day out for her, but because it's so hot, her seizures have become quite um, prominent and more often. Uh, not big ones, not tonic clonic seizures, just kind of um, drop attack seizures, the atonic seizures. So we thought it may be better just to keep her in the house while she's jumping around and having fun and getting really excited and then plan a day out another day because she really likes things like going to the arcade, um, you know, going to the park and things like that. She likes the simple things, which is good. Um, yeah, so we're not doing that. And for Ethan, I know Ethan, Ethan's turning 19, but I know pizza party is gonna be like a thing for him, even party bags. He is a child at heart and I know he's gonna love all that. Um, but on the in the evening, we're actually gonna take all the decorations down for the pizza party and we're gonna switch out the decorations to Eurovision decorations because we are gonna be watching the Eurovision. We've allowed the girls to stay up until all the results are in, um, which I'm really excited about. And we're gonna make a thing out of it. It's gonna be fun. I love Eurovision. It's like the best thing ever. Uh, the best thing since sliced bread. I love it. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, Ethan most likely in the evening will probably be going out with his friends because it is a Saturday night and he is 19. I just hope he behaves himself. You know what lads are like when they get to that age. They go out and they go out for the night out. They have a bit of, a bit of fun, have a few laughs, have a few drinks. It scares me half to death but I know he's sensible. I brought him up to be sensible so I know he will be but I'm most likely that'll be what he'll be doing and his two friends as well he's got these two best friends they kind of you know it's like a, a trio they always hang around together and the two lads that he hangs around with they are really nice level-headed lads I really like them they're really really good influence on Ethan so I love that um, and yeah I keep getting called mum so you know <laughs> they're like extended family now like people are walking past and they're wondering who the hell I'm talking to it's all right it's okay it's all gravy it's fine um people think I'm mad around here anyway it's all good so yeah right I've also got to clean up the living room finish painting up the bedroom because we've had a like wardrobe dilemma the wardrobes are literally on their last legs we need new wardrobes so all that's happening I've got furniture floating around here there and everywhere I've got two cots Maddie's cot and Kenzie's cot that are in the living room at present because obviously everything is like a shebang upstairs and everything's going on so yeah and obviously all the paint fumes as well so we've been camping out downstairs I know we've been decorating the upstairs of our house for such a long time but it's been delayed so many times obviously with Harbour's seizures and hospital trips and appointments everything is really delayed on what we're getting done so it's all hickledy pickledy at the moment but we will get there in the end we will we will <sighs> right okay I might get a pad and pen and just like write down on my to-do list so I can take it off as I go because I feel like my brain is kind of frazzled I said that to my sister this morning I'm so overwhelmed with all the things that I've got to do I think I need to write it down because I'm seriously, seriously frazzled. <laughs> You're loving live Albies.
Nice flowers. It's beautiful, isn't it? It looks so stunning. Does it look like snowflakes? It does a bit. Oh, there's my good boy. Albies! He's like, no, there's no sun in here. Take me back out there. Oh, oh they are so beautiful. <gasps> Is this for me? Oh, thank you. Oh, I love them. I'm going to pop them right here so we can have them all our trip round to the forest, huh? Come on, Albies, you're holding us up, dude. <laughs> I think we need some water for Albie. Oh, if I can get it off the bug. Right, let's get you some water. Oh, he's panting away, he's waiting, look. Albie, can you get you some water, Baba? All refreshed and ready to go. Oh, no, <laughs> Oh, wow. The yeah, the bees are collecting nectar, do you think? Oh, he loves honey. Oh, they make honey. Well, honey bees make honey. So as you can tell, we're not at home. Kevin went to Tesco's and we were a bit bored sitting in the house. So we decided to come out for a walk with Albie. And I'm slightly regretting my deci decision yeah. on outfit. Let I know, right? See. But Let you can tell how see. hot it is because I have... Let me see. Hold on a second, impatient. Um, you can tell it's hot because... I've got no makeup on, I've got a teeny tiny bit of mascara, a bit of lotion, and that's it. We're going down there. Yeah, and we're going for a walk. Who's walking with us today? Albies. Albies. I brought Darcy. And Darcy too. Darcy? Yeah. Are you excited we're walking with Albie? Yeah. Yeah? I don't want to see these. Oh. Bella's regretting her decision not to take antihistamines this morning. No, oh no, you wouldn't regret taking him, not at all. What about your decision not to take antihistamines? Yes. I thought we do have some, we've got a whole box, dude. Oh man. I need to lie Kenzie back. She's ready for her sleepies. Hey, she's loving it in there. I came out with no shoes on her because it is so hot. And I, she has got sun cream on, don't worry, she's even got it on her feet. They are lathered. Because if they're anything like mum, we'll get burnt, won't we, if we don't wear sun cream? Yeah. Darcy? Yeah. We get burnt if we don't wear sun cream, don't we? Have you got your sun cream on? Yes. Yes. Do you feel good with your sun cream on? Yeah. Do you know what it does? Make it make you not burn. Make you not burn. It keeps you protected from the sun. Look how stunning this is. Wow, can you what do you think what do you think lives in this forest, Darcy? Oh no, did you just touch a stingy nettle? Yeah. Uh oh, we need to find a dock leaf. Okay, we are looking out for a dock leaf. She touched a stingy nettle. Okay, we need to look. Keep looking. Look who we found. Hey, look who we found. Oh no, run people, run. How was shopping with Dad? We couldn't get a number nine. You couldn't get a number nine? We had to get one of the white number nines, but we, there was no more number ones or fives, so we had to go back. Oh no, so we're out of candles. Oh, motorbike. We're home again. Oh, that was lovely. Did yeah. You, did you enjoy your walk? Yes. Yes. Was it fun? And that's Lily. You were having cola. You're having cola, yes. Lily bought herself a bottle of cola <laughs> with that. Would I have let her go buy it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, <laughs> yes, they're all having cola. I'm sure I'm going to regret allowing them to drink it later. But, oh my goodness, I did not anticipate how hot it was. Uh, it was definitely hot when we were sat out in it earlier, but then going around for a walk, it was blazing. Lovely. Oh, my eyes gone blurry. It's hot. Um, it was lovely. Don't get me wrong, it was really nice. But it was hot, wasn't it, dude? It's hot. Well, what, what am I guessing? Tomorrow is my sister's birthday because I see yes. we got a slide for my sister's birthday. Yeah, you got to be quiet. Oh, dude. Did they see that? Nobody saw that. Yeah. I think they saw that. Yeah, um, I got lemonade and cola, I but I used a bit of lemonade for Maddie. Um, yeah, because Ma we weren't going to give cola to Maddie. Yeah, um, it's for Ethan's birthday tomorrow. Yeah. Because you can't Thanks. have pizza. 
Without oh, a drink. Oh, but you can't wear them. Just come to see. Papa? Papa? Whose birthday is it tomorrow? Oh, I mm. love you. Is it your birthday? Uh, I oh, I want to put on my love drink. Love you. <gasps> I love you too. Oh, that's my what, goodness. I love you. That's what it says on this. <laughs> is that what it says on there? Yeah. I love Chloe you. got herself some um, Love Heart sweeties, didn't you? Where are they? Let me have uh, one. Oh, they, oh, they're all in there. She's hiding them in her cup. Look. Love Heart sweeties. <laughs> they're all her best friend now because she's got sweeties so I've just put the cakes in the oven I've put one half of Ethan's in the oven and one half of Harper's in the oven I hope it goes well because last time it was a dilemma but I've put them in the oven and I've literally just come out here and sat down and Facebook had a pop-up of an old video from yonky years ago of Ethan and Dylan I'm gonna post it here they're so small what are you two doing? But even barbarians can be honourable. You must obey the wishes of the house of Gethman. But what have you drunk on? Oh, I'll think of something. Isn't that ridiculous? Makes me want to cry. Almost actually made me cry a little bit actually. I don't like that they're so growing. I want them to be little again. I mean, I can't bear it. Ethan's nearly taller than me. He's nearly taller than me. And Dylan, yeah, he's he's almost taller than me as well. I think everybody's taller than me. I just can't stand how big they've got. We have success. We have one, two cake layers. Now I've just got to work on the rest. You probably you probably noticed I've got some bourbons in this one because it's my biscuit okay if this isn't the best end to the vlog I don't know what is I don't know if you can tell but we can see the northern lights from where we are and they have covered the sky you can't really tell on the video I will put in a photo that I've taken yeah, it's, it's just crazy you can you can slightly see the pink yeah, on here it is craziness yeah, you know it let's go around like. here see if I can yeah. you know what it looks like? it's like a rainbow isn't it yeah. Yeah, you know what it looks like to me it, it looks like someone like splash paint all over the sea all over like the sky it do it does a bit doesn't it but I'll, I'll put some pictures in oh my god it's so good yeah. it's so pretty it's literally like midnight and we're standing outside on our driveway trying to get this. You can just very, very slightly see it on the on the camera, but yeah. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And on Harper and Ethan's birthday as well. And then there was cakes. They're not the best cakes in the world, but they are cakes nonetheless. Do you think they look amazing? <laughs> right. Okay, so we couldn't get another sparkling um, candle. We couldn't get a sparkling number nine, so we got the number one that's sparkly. On this one, <laughs> these are meant to be fish, but because it's so warm, it's just melting and kind of running everywhere. So, yeah. Well, I did my best on what I could do. I'm not a baker by any means, but yeah, this is what we have. I hope they like them. We're going to have an endless amount of cake. Anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to actually end this vlog whilst you are looking at my disastrous cakes. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And definitely leave us a comment on what you think about my cakes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, bless me. I do try. <laughs> oh, I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.